Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new LEGO Dream Set, Mrs. Castillo's Turtle Van, which is just such a fun, cute, and unique concept for a LEGO set that actually has a ton of rebuild possibilities on the back to turn it into a normal food truck or even a flying turtle bus. This is such a fun and unique concept for a set, and I can't wait to showcase it in the review, but definitely stay tuned because not only did we publish a mega review of every single one of the LEGO Dream Sets, but I also will be publishing individual reviews of each and every one of the sets coming very soon. And so, let's jump on into the review. Okay, this is set number 71456, Mrs. Castillo's Turtle Van. It retails for 48 US dollars, 48 euros, and comes with 434 pieces, putting this at around an 11.1 .1 cent price per part ratio if you're still tracking that metric. First off, one of the things that I want to mention with every single Dreams review is that the instruction manual is one of the most interesting that LEGO has ever put out. You see, for LEGO Dreams, LEGO has taken the concept they introduced for Ninjago Core, but really transformed the instructions into actually telling a story, where, as you can see, illustrations will actually guide you through the construction of the model, and even when you finish particular bags, there's a particular illustration to be able to showcase what exactly you're building, which I find to be really interesting and actually makes the building process feel feel like a process of play, which is kind of unlike anything that LEGO has done before. Now, much like all of the other LEGO Dream sets, there are two different ways to build the set. You can either turn the set into the standard turtle van walking along, or turn it into some sort of a turtle flyer. Of course, I'm just doing the standard configuration, but you can see kind of here what the difference between those two builds are, and once again, I think it's really cool how the pages are actually colored differently based on what you're building. There's some nice artwork at the end of each of the pages showcasing the builds themselves, and I would highly recommend that once the set's actually released in August, to go check out the instruction manual PDFs on lego.com because the artwork inside actually tells a really cool story. It's almost like the instruction manuals are a comic in and of itself, which I just think is a really cool feature to be able to integrate into an instruction booklet. Moving on to the set itself though, we can take a look, it comes with three minifigures and two of these smaller micro figures that LEGO introduced for LEGO Dreams. First off, we have Mrs. Castillo herself. For a character that doesn't have a ton of prominence throughout the show, it is really interesting how they dedicated a brand new dual molded body for her, kind of picturing an old lady hunched over. You have this aqua color dual molded with the brown. The arms are using these Technic pin attachments similar to LEGO Mario figures, and overall, I think it's a really interesting new body type for a minifigure, certainly not one that I expected LEGO to do, but I like it and I'm curious to see if LEGO will do more stuff like this in the future. Moving on from that, we have Zoe here, who is often associated with Mrs. Castillo being her delivery person. Unlike pretty much all of the other versions of Zoe, this one does not feature a teal cape. Instead, this one just uses a specialized quiver piece, which was obviously an older piece from Lego Castle, but they're still utilizing it to this day. And you can see they've recolored the bow in purple, as well as wielding an hourglass dual molded in gold and clear, much like all of the other Dream Chasers. Zoe has a brand new hairpiece included for the figure, appearing for the first time for this particular figure in purple, although I'm sure that LEGO will eventually use this hairpiece for a ton of other characters, probably even throughout LEGO City. The other minifigure here is the main character, or at least one of the main characters, Mateo. Also, unlike many of the other figures where he usually has a green Batman movie belt as well as a green cape, this one has swapped those out for a red backpack, which I guess he's using to stock up on certain items, and I like how they've made a set-specific variant for the figure. Of course, he does have an alternate expression, so you can see both of the expressions right there. He is wielding a brick-built pencil, which I think is a really clever weapon, and he does have dual molded legs, which is really special to get for just a regular original LEGO theme. Lastly, we do have a minifigure or standard figure version of Z-Blob. Personally, I prefer the one they included in the Nightmare Shark Ship, which was a recolored Bionicle Baraki eyepiece, because it's just a bit closer to what he looks like on the show, where he doesn't really have legs or arms on the show itself, but it's just another variation of it. It is the most common version of Z-Blob seen throughout a lot of the sets, utilizing a headpiece from LEGO Video last year. And then, we also have just one grim spot to provide a bit of conflict in the set, but really most of the set is just focused on the turtle van itself. This is just a kind of castle-themed grim spot that is a pretty standard generic villain, which you can use to menace the heroes. Of course, though, setting aside the figures, we can now take a look at the actual turtle van itself, but before that, we can actually take a look at what the van looks like without actually having the turtle pieces added on. 
Here is the regular version of the Mrs. Castillo's van. No extra add-ons to really bring in that whimsical dream turtle aspect. It's just a normal streetcar. It's actually really cool because it feels like this could fit right in in a Lego city. Lastly, here are the extra parts in case you want to build the flying version of the craft, mostly just having a large fin and a couple of other additional pieces to attach the wheels. So once you actually add on the turtle aspects as well as the specialized shop elements, this is what you get for Mrs. Castillo's turtle van. This is actually a really fun and unique set and I like how you can basically use it as a standard RV, but also be able to transform it into something different. As you can see, there's not any really articulation in the legs. You can only rotate the feet side to side like so, but I guess that makes sense because it does have to support the entire weight of the van, although it would have been nice to be able to just bend the legs a little bit. They are pretty much just fixed on standard axles so you can't even bend the legs whatsoever. The head itself is mounted on a mixel joint which you can see right here but due to the positioning of the head itself and the way the joint is mounted you can't actually have it look side to side. Would have been nice to get some articulation but you could only really make it look up and down and kind of rotate the head like so which isn't that bad like I don't think you need that much articulation but I do kind of wish you could actually just make it look side to side because right now obviously with the fixed legs and pretty much a fixed position for the head there's not a lot you can do in terms of articulation here. Now, the set does actually include additional stickers, which you can utilize to place on the side of the van itself, much like many of the other LEGO Dream sets. They include these extra stickers for you to play around with, so I had a lot of fun just putting these extra stickers on the side of the van, and I think it makes total sense for a vehicle like this to be utilizing extra stickers just to make it feel that much more lived in. Also included in the set is this cat cactus up here, which also is featured in the stable of the dream creature set. So this is kind of an identical build being featured throughout the two sets. You have the utilization of the Lego Lord of the Rings Rivendell fern element as a kind of palm tree up here, which I think is a really nice touch. This is on a mixel joint or mini ball joint, so you can kind of rotate it all around. And they also have recolored one of the new blade slash exhaust pipe slash tree pieces in this transparent yellow and solid yellow blend, which is an interesting color. It's currently exclusive to the set in this color, and I'm not really sure what exactly that's supposed to represent here. Maybe it's supposed to be some sort of an exhaust, because obviously it's sticking out of an exhaust pipe, or it's supposed to be some sort of a plant that's also sticking out of it. Not really sure the box artwork, or at least the artwork on the instructions, shows energy crackling around it, so yeah, not really sure exactly what the deal is supposed to be with this particular piece. I think it's interesting, but my thoughts on this have been the same throughout all my other LEGO Dreams reviews, where I definitely feel like they were trying to do too much with one piece, and ended up not really accomplishing what it was supposed to be either way. If it's supposed to be an exhaust, there are too many leaves, but if it's supposed to be a plant, it's actually just shaped very clearly like an exhaust, so I'm not really sure exactly what they were going for here. Moving along though, this is actually a really nice and complex model in terms of having a lot of interior detail to it. What's nice is that you can actually just go ahead and remove the roof so you can go ahead and get inside the van itself where there's actually a good amount of space on the inside. There is a specialized transparent opalescent purple color with kind of the satin and sparkle integrated into it, which was featured in the Lego Disney Treehouse set but also has reappeared here. You also have some instructions for Dreamcraft builds showcasing the weaponry that the shop is peddling, but then you can see here the weapons are actually built here, which is quite interesting, how they actually are encouraging you to create your own weapons, which I think is a cool feature. Of course, you can open this and close this. There are just the standard kind of windscreen cupboard doors being utilized there. There's space for a driver in the front of the van and a passenger as well. And overall, just a surprisingly high amount of room is actually featured in the build itself. And if you wanted to, you could fit in all of the figures included in the set and more just with the one build, which I think is really cool. Overall, this is a pretty interesting build. It definitely has kind of that cute factor that... LEGO Dreams is trying to provide with some of the animal-oriented sets. I like the recolor of the Bionicle Hero Factory CCBS shoulder shell here as the turtle head. I think that works out really well. They actually use this as a turtle shell in one of the recent LEGO Disney 100 sets, so I kind of find it funny how they're utilizing this for a head in this set. But overall, I think this is a cute set. It's definitely not for everyone, but I also think it's pretty emblematic of how LEGO Dreams is trying to do completely different things with the entire set lineup. It feels like the most original LEGO theme that is geared towards all genders, whether boys and girls can enjoy the sets, and there are some sets that are geared towards one demographic or another, but I just find it really interesting how they're doing so many different things with these sets themselves that they almost feel like they could be from completely different themes. 
With that, we have summed up our look at the Turtle Van. For $48, it feels a bit high, and this really smells like a price increase to me, especially the $47.99, which is not a price point LEGO typically designs for. If I had to guess, this was probably designed at the $40 to $45 price point, and they decided to raise it up a little bit more to be $48. Definitely feel like 45 would have been better, 40 would have been really good for this, especially because honestly it's not that big of a vehicle, but 48 is not awful. It's a little overpriced, but not quite as bad as some of LEGO's other offerings this year, so I'll let it slide for now. With that, we've summed up our review of 71456. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later for more LEGO Dreams reviews. All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at Mrs. Castillo's Turtle Van. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think of the set. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And overall, what do you think of LEGO Dreams as a whole? Thank you all so much for tuning in to Duck Breaks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming away very soon. And bye for now.